It's Charlottamine. Yes, the bauble. Perfect. Marvelous. When's Christmas? Another one? Pop it on, buddy. Alex, is the sun cream for him to just... Uh, in case he gets a bit... Get a bit tanned. Really. Love it, love it. Should I wrap them round? Yeah. Are you happy to have a tree? No. No, okay. <laughs> cool. Great. Hazel's just chilling. <laughs> yeah? Baby! Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Do you think people could tell if you did the gold and I did the silver? Potentially if they came up close. Well, take it. Thanks, Hazy. Do you want to put a star on top? Yeah. Where's the star? There's a, there's a red one somewhere as well. Do you, Do you like, like the red one or the silver the one? The red star? The star? This one? Can you pop them on top of you? Like this. <gasps> he looks beautiful! More? More? We've got loads more, mate! Alex and Kieran, a uh, Christmas decoration. The mushroom. At the top? No. You want to start on the star? You could hang it on here, look. That's it, like that. Do you like that? Yeah, more. Do you want to use the... Don't do the mushroom? Well, we mentioned that we like the ugly um, baubles, and obviously this one was bought yesterday, as well as, well as the, the mushroom last year. Head for scale. Don't we got this one. We got the okay. chicken. What's his name again? Let's give him a nice name. How about Duncan? That's a good name. Good old Dunks the Chick. Okay, oh, yeah. Dora, where do you want to put this one? Tell me, oh, we got we got babies first. Well done, Hayes. Uh, we also have that's another Dora's baby first. Yeah. Was that gifted to us? Yeah, I think your dad got that one. Yeah, and then we bought we bought this one. Uh, my first Christmas. John Lewis represent. We're gonna come back to when this is d done. Bye. Does he buy Dora? Bye. I said we'd come back, but we just found our, our first home one. Very fun. We'll stick him there. Oh, we also have this one. I lied again. We have a Joe Malone one, which is ceramic. Well, how did we get this one? Didn't you go to like a, a perfume event? Um, yeah, or did you buy like a Christmas gift set? Was this the one where I went with my mum? Maybe. I got chatting to the area manager. We were friends. Oh, this one should also smell. It kind of does. It does. It smells of pine. Like the, the perfume. Yeah. Do I do a sniff? No. Oh, no. This is the sprouts. It has a hat. Anything else you want to say about it? No. I think he looks swish, mate. Yeah. Do you like the tree, Hazel? Can you see the tree? Do you like the tree? Look at it. Gem. Take it away, Alex. Come on, let's get on with it. Okay, well, let's just get on with it. Yes. Come on, Alex, let's go. Here's your first start of a 10. What name links the fence after the canal turn on the Grand National, of course? The title character of a 1986 play by Willie Russell, one of the two gentlemen of Verona, and a Roman saint whose feast day falls in the middle of February. Augustus. Valentine. Valentine. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's Tuesday. You're looking for how, how you enjoy Tuesday? Marvellous. So we've had post. I got him a little Movember face mask because we raised over 250 pantaloons. 600 pound in total, Dora. Woohoo! I, I received this package. I don't know what it is. 
You gonna go for it? I also received this package, but I don't know what it is. But it's handwritten. And that makes yeah. me panicked. Oh, it's a... It's a present? <laughs> huh? Wait, what? We got a mystery Christmas present, Alex. A mystery Christmas present. Any ideas whose handwriting that is? No. Is it my mum's? Um, it could be your uncle Wayne, because I think that might be his wife's writing. It looks, Janice! It looks like a lady's writing. That doesn't look like Glaswegian to me. Hold on, let me compare it to Pedro's birthday card. Yes, Detective Alex. No, 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 no. That's my own writing. Just, just check my own writing in case. <laughs> Do you write yourself a Christmas card, Alex? That's from Uncle Wayne. Uncle Wayne. No. No. It's just I just doesn't write in Glaswegian. I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> that's the closest. And that's got some random capitals thrown in there. No, the E's. This person does capital E's. And that person does little ease. Well, Dora, we've had a mysterious package. <laughs> Dora's playing some Mozart. No, Theodora! No! <laughs> Do you know what? It's pretty swish. It's quite comfy. It's got adjustable ears. <gasps> Can I try them? This is my face in a mask. Bye. You want to try? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Is it good? No. <laughs> Dora, how, are you 2020? Are you 2020 hip and cool? Yeah. Can you do a dance? Can you jump? Can you do a jump? Oh, hey! Oh, thinking of book mail, I received this. Sarah from Your True Shelf sent me Ali Smith's Autumn because I am taking part in Hardcover Hearts' seasonal quarter head read along, people. Now, Kieran, you might say, I think you're you're quite vocal on your Ali Smith uh, opinions, and I would agree. And it's quite interesting, because we've started the Voxer chat now. We get over four months, we're going to read Autumn, Winter, Spring, and, yeah, yeah, guessed it, Summer. Bread emoji in the comments, if you, if, you, if you guessed that answer. But it's really interesting, because everyone was in the group going, yeah, like, this is, like, my first Ali, Ali Smith. Or people going, like, oh, I love Ali Smith. And there's, there's me going, I think Ali Smith's a bit rubbish. Get out of my house. I should probably pick that up now. <laughs> I vowed to read all of Ali Smith's books. So when people go, well, is she that bad? I can turn around and go, well, I've read them all. And yes, she is. I will say Autumn is probably my favourite Ali Smith book. <laughs> Obviously take favourite with a bit of salt because it is a little bit like that. But nevertheless... I'm looking forward. I'd love for you to join. It'll be great! But while I'm on lunch, I'm going to fill my problematic fave book tag. And that was created by Herjit Starlight, a channel who I highlighted in my last vlog. I think this is a really good tag because, as Herjit said, this is more a, a point of reflection rather than a point of, like, opinion. So so let's go, let's go and record this. It's a little bit messy in here at the moment, so let's try and find somewhere else a bit different. I might just do it there. Oh, this is cosy, isn't it? Dora, can you sit in your seat at the back? Yeah. Yeah? Come Should I me take you out? Come with mummy. You want to sit in the front? Yeah. Legally, you're not allowed to, darling. I need you to look after the baby, please. Yeah. yeah. Come on, then. Oh, oh good, good girl. girl. I haven't done vlogging, but we're gonna go and get some cheese. We're we making Christmas cards. How does yours come along? Mine's pretty good. Shut I off. do say so myself. I mean, it, it does look pretty good. Um, today we Dora's risk helping. our life and coronavirus for cheese. Forty pounds. We spent forty cheese. quid's worth of cheese. Why? Cheese. Because it's cheese. We don't need any excuse. How's your reading coming along? Because we haven't vlogged for two weeks. No change here. You're on chapter... The same page I was last time. Marvellous. And I'm going to skip to be talking about the books. Now! Mm. Do you want to add anything? Shall we? Put that bit. I'll wait for Okay, I'm going to try and do this in one tick. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, so first of all, I did actually finish 
um, and will be doing a review soon of Life of Pi. Um, this was one of the first ones of Gracious He Sent Me. Um, it, it's the second one, but the reason why I finished the first, we, we, we will get on to it. I thoroughly enjoyed myself with this. I quite like books that are happy to kind of like fall into the like teleological and talk about like religion and what it is to believe. I quite like that in books um, because I do find sometimes it, I think it's quite easy to dismiss religion as a topic. Um, and I think it's just easy to just push of like, well, it doesn't exist. I, I, I think to try to put an argument of why or like why people believe or why how could you believe in uh, the, the use of metaphor and story to enhance that i think that was really important now the one that uh i first started is here okay <laughs> um julia barnes sense of that did I know Grace likes a slow bird, <laughs> but it took me, for, this is a short novel, what, 150 pages? It took me three days to get to part two, which is page 59, and I've just parked it aside. <sighs> I'm just not enjoying this at all um i think i've realized a slow bird book tends not to enthrall me so i probably i will finish part two i just don't know when um however saying that we do still have and I'm, I'm, i haven't picked it up yet oh i got i now i gotta pick it up oh you get the butter which is Max Porter's Lanny. Um, I've put this one off. Why? Because Grace, CJ, Hannah, and Jay, and also myself, I'm involved, <laughs> uh, have decided to set up the Book Hottie book club together. So a little, so us five, we're going to choose a book, we're going to jump on the Zooms, Jump on the Google Hangout. Maybe we'll throw a blue jeans. Who knows? Um, I talk about a book. So I listened to the audio book for our first one, which Jay chose, of uh, Elena Ferrante's The Lion Lives of Adults, which is her newest book. Now, I didn't know anything about Elena Ferrante. I didn't even know that's like a fake name and the person doesn't even exist. I didn't know that, but... I'll review it, or review it, but it, it, it was mediocre for me at best, it was mediocre at best, and we've decided Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison, now I've not read any other Toni Morrison bar The Bluest Eye, and I know this one has been pretty much like raved about, um, I, I know it's uh, Michaela Reads's like one of her favorite books and supposedly fun has raved about this as well greg so i'm extremely keen for that but at the moment what am i reading at the moment no you dingus so i have two books upstairs that's why i was like what am i reading so the first one is soul mounted by gao xiang zhen which the the beautiful Ben from Dune Antidote sent me. So he put up an extremely negative review of the book. And I love a negative review because I'm like, I want to see if I agree. So I messaged him on Instagram and said, I'll buy the book off you. And he's like, no, no, I'll send it to you free. I said, I, I, I said, okay, I'll send you some books. So I've sent him some books. He's... So I've sent him some books that hopefully he will read. And I'm halfway through Soul Mountain. And 
it's not like a book I've read before, so there's a lot of interplay with pronouns and how the central character views himself. It's not quite novel, it's not quite memoir, it's not quite autofiction, it's not quite like philosophical. It's kind of like this is amalgamation of all of it. So you have I, you, which is like his reflection and how he like views himself like as like a hindsight character. There's he, which is further than you. So he like, like objectively looks on his own being. And then she, which is his companion side. Like what he like falls back on, but what he falls back on is quite masochistic so there's a lot of like violence done to like the she pronoun but it's all it's all the one character it's very difficult to explain i didn't know that gao zhang zhan is actually a translator he's more known for his translated works of ionesco beckett so theater of the absurd so you have to kind of go in with this like absurdist mindset of like what's going on so you can't like really treat it as like naturalism you can't treat it as like social college you have to go in to this like a, a theater of the absurd look into his works um which is in which is which is very interesting because it's, it's not something i expected going into the book but he's he's clearly influenced by the, the the dramatists he's clearly influenced by the dramatists but um yeah so i'm halfway through that and also, at the same time, because I did promise, like, th three months ago, uh, Jazz from Ren Panda reads, to read Fingersmith. Now, I'm not going to lie, after reading all the booker, jumping into, like, this Chinese <laughs> philosophical memoir, autofiction kind of novel that's a little bit out there, and reading, uh, like, a lot of literary fiction... I kind of just want a book that's a, like a nice story, um, something like a little bit like plotty, something with a bit of twisted to it. I'm, I'm actually fancying that, so we're gonna be reading that, and then we should finish it by the end of December. And then Jazz has invited me to go on her channel or on her Instagram, and we'll talk about Fingersmith as well. So I got a lot going on at the moment, but I'm just looking for something a little bit. Easier to read. Um, and so far I've reached the end of chapter two. I always started it yesterday. Um it's okay. It's okay. It's kind of what I expected from it. It is set in the Victorian era, which is something that I don't tend to want to read, but I know a lot of people who read Sarah Waters, and it's my first Sarah Waters, um, who rave about Sarah Waters. So I am willing to dip my toe in. And I, I, I want to see how the plot picks up and how the twists and turns are going to be coming and going. That kind of intrigues me. And my PhD idea is kind of this like, um, like ever morphing, um, like creature. I can't really seem to like pin it down, but I got I got an idea at the moment about uh, romantic landscapes, um. That I kind of like really want to delve into a bit more. So I'm going back to Paradise Lost, which takes so much brain power. I, I've, I kind of want to do a review on Milton's Paradise Lost, but I mean, like, what can you say about Milton's Paradise Lost <laughs> that hasn't already been said? Um, yeah. So there's that. I got my top 10 books I need to figure out. Do a video on that. I'm also going to do my top 10 albums of this year. Because I want to. What else has been happening? Oh yeah. Booktube Simon and Andrew and E are currently having a shuggy bait. Like a, a, a beautiful disaster coming to log ahead. Some of the, the best videos like going to and fro. I don't know if they've planned it. But if they have, it's a it's a, it's a genius piece of thing. So Ange messaged me saying, "Would I jump on a on a call with them to talk about Shuggy Bane?" Um, <laughs> um, and I'll put both their channels out. Check out what they're doing to and through. 
because especially at times like these, I it's just a laugh. It's just a laugh, and they're both just digging into each other. It's great. I love it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Well, I came across bookish shenanigans. Someone I can't remember who it was. They pointed me in her direction, as she gave me a shout out. She's great. She's great. High energy, high octane. Um, currently doing her PhD on Victorian studies. I've just, I've just binged all of her videos. Um, she's great, and I think this is it's quite interesting. I find with YouTube, is that clearly and it's quite easy to kind of fall into your your niche. You fall into like your cliches. You fall into your clicks. Um, of just like watching the same people over and over again, but I really enjoy finding new people. I think it's like the best thing ever. You just got this like catalog of just fresh, like fresh perspectives, fresh opinions, uh, books that you've never heard of, things that you would read, and that's like really interesting to me. I think that's something that, like, like I like engaging with. I find that someone new, so. 100% will recommend them. But yeah, the timeline of what days which or what weeks what, I don't think it matters anymore because it, it's all kind of like, like cascaded into the tide. So we have no idea. Um, so, yeah, that's that. It's time for the cheese haul. Come on, Alex, do the cheese haul. Give it a smell. Smell the paper. Wow. Don't really open that one. Yeah. Many cheeses. What? What does I? What do they smell of? Paper. This. <laughs> is. Oh, no. A corn And this is a chutney. Uh, Alex, can you put your hand behind it because I can't see it. The hole. The, uh, what type of chut 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 ch 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 is it? Rhubarb, fig, and ginger. Oh, I like rhubarb, oh, fig, and also ginger. Oh, yeah. You wanna wash? We haven't been vlogging, but we're gonna do University Challenge again. Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah, boy! Okay, we all know the rules now, so let's, let's do it. Come on, come on. Fingers on buzzers. Come on, let's go. Do you know what's in your economic institute when you go to school? Yeah. 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 Yeah.